What is going on guys? This is Kevin here from Fashion Forward. Always, I'm here back with a grilled grab. I know it's been a while. Uh, today's grilled grab is going to be focusing primarily on core clothing. So, everything in the core section, which used to be the basic section, I'm going to be picking out outerwear, tops, bottoms, shoes, accessories, dildos. This is just from this week. And yeah. Without further ado, let's go. First up, we have a Nautica vintage jacket. I just really liked how this jacket looked. A lot of the vintage items are extremely, extremely good for like the price. You guys can essentially get like a retail item that'll be like 100 to 200 bucks. Like this Nautica jacket in an XL, absolutely love it. I think it looks amazing and it's a pretty decent deal. So, and the offers are open, so definitely just kind of handle that shit. Next up is a Nike 3M jacket. I think this looks really cool because I think it's part of their Nike sportswear stuff. So that stuff usually goes for like 200 bucks if you check Nike's website, but it is listed for around 120. It's an extremely nice jacket. It has 3M on it. So for all you tech boys on a budget, you guys can easily pick up this jacket and then get that aesthetic appeal. Last up for outerwear is a Lotto jacket. It is a vintage jacket. Almost reminds me of the Issey Miyake jackets. Hell, it's on a budget, so. Mm. Bellissimo. I do think the embroidery on the water jacket looks extremely, extremely premium. So definitely, definitely check out everything. All the links are going to be in the description down below. First up for tops, I have quite a few items for tops, so I'll just kind of go through them. First up is an extra large OG jacket. Um, extra large was actually one of the founding streetwear brands, I guess. Um, pretty close to Stussy's time, so extra large went was huge, went out of business, and then they had a resurgence. I believe this might be one of their vintage or older items. Definitely check it out. They are just extremely, extremely like OG streetwear, all screen printed stuff. Uh, I think they've delved into like cut and sew just recently, but a lot of their tops, extremely, extremely nice if you guys are trying to get some decent graphics. Next up is a vintage Chicago Bulls sweater slash crew neck. I think this looks awesome. So the fit of a lot of vintage jackets are what modern fits are like kind of cropped and oversized. So I definitely think that instead of paying like a hundred bucks or something at Urban Outfitters, you can get this for extremely cheap. This vintage Chicago Bulls jacket just looks, mm. So for core, the best way to find deals is to shop the vintage section. There are a lot of vintage hunters that, you know, just go out to a bunch of thrift stores and go out to swap meets and then they upload their findings online and often that is a substantially better deal than like whatever fast fashion like retailer or some other retailer will offer. Next up is sort of an unconventional one but it is a John Elliott Comix gray shirt in a size large. I absolutely love John Elliott's tees. If you guys haven't had John Elliott's tees you guys should definitely definitely check it out. I have a few of them and they've lasted me like I think the last time I purchased a John Elliott tee was like almost a year ago and it's just been like, it's just been amazing. No, I think it was during the sample sale when I purchased my last few John Elliott tees. And those John Elliott tees have been some of the most comfortable ones. And the Comix Gray that I have, absolutely love it. Last but not least is a vintage item again, I guess. Sorry for going all vintage and on y'all kids. But it is a Tokyo Fat. <laughs> Sweat hat. I just thought it looks cool. <laughs> so it kind of reminded me of like the weird Japanese stuff where it has like oh, uh, like some words spelled out in English, but it's just like, what the fuck? I just think it kind of has that appeal. So, I mean, I, I just think it looks cool. Now for bottoms, I have a chapter vent layered shorts. So since summer and spring are coming up or spring already is currently happening, but can, you know, you just can't tell time. Since summer is approaching, I definitely think shorts are a necessity. Chapter has very, very nice cuts, extremely nice cuts, and they have very minimalist style. So I definitely suggest you guys check these guys out. Next up, we have a La Mer collaboration with Uniqlo. It is for their U collection. I believe it's the wide fit denim. So the wide trousers and the straight fit trousers have been like resurging in population. For example, like Magnus, you know, he just rocks a lot of straight cut wide bottoms. And I do think that the Uniqlo ones is just like a perfect like sweet spot for like quality and price point. So, and I think they're sold out on Uniqlo's site. I'm not too sure. I'll put a link on Uniqlo's website if they aren't sold out, but if they are, 
check out and you uh, check out grill last but not least is a Nike maroon bottoms uh, a lot of Nike bottoms are actually extremely good for the price especially if you get them on sale or secondhand a lot of their bottoms fit super super nice and if they don't you can always get a tailored a lot of my or actually one of the most worn cargo pants that I have are just plain old like Nike sportswear bottoms that I got tapered and tailored and like everybody asks me like what they are they're just some Nike sportswear bottoms and it's just like it takes like 10 20 bucks to get them tailored and tapered and they look amazing now we're moving on to footwear I'm just kind of blast through these guys because I have a few of them um, for some reason uh, core just for they have a bunch of like 10 and 10 and a half so Paul so apologies and ahead of time for the copious amounts of size 10s and 10 and a halfs. So first up, we have a Nike Air Footscape Utility Mid in the US 10. Second, we have a Nike Zoom Fly Shanghai colorway in a 10 and a half. Next up, we have a Nike Free Mercurial in an 8.5. I love, I love, I love my Mercurials. Uh, but mine are Footscape and this guy is a free, so they're both extremely nice. Next up, we have another Nike Fly Net Mercurial, except this time in a 10 and a half. Last but not least, I have just, it's kind of like for nostalgia's sake. Um, I used to be a huge Nike SB head and like when I saw these for like this good of a price, I'm just like, God damn it, I wish I was this size. So it is the Nike SB Yoda colorway or the Jedi cuddle, uh, colorway in a US 13. This was one of the older colorways and the quality on like old Nike SB models are just A1. You guys should definitely like check them out. I think I also saw like a Shanghai up there on Grail. So definitely give Nike SB a chance because their shoes are amazing. And a lot of bigger silhouettes are coming back into style. So I definitely think those guys are on the rise. Now we have accessories. I have three different colorways of the North Face Purple Label backpacks. I think two of them are the same price, but one of them is a little bit higher than the other. And last but not least, I have a Chrome Industries Black Messenger bag for 90 bucks. So that's actually a pretty damn decent deal. I would suggest getting that or a Mission Workshop backpack if you guys are looking for a nice messenger backpack and you guys are living in the city and you guys commute a lot using your bike. So yeah, that was it for Grail Grabs Core Edition. This is primarily geared towards people who are on a budget, who like vintage stuff, and I guess students. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. No, okay. So, tell me if you guys copped any of the items that I listed out. Let me know if you guys have any other core items that you're like, yo, Kevin, you guys, you skipped over this dope item. Post it in the comments below. Maybe somebody else would be able to buy it. And yeah, if you guys want to check out my grill, down in the description down below. And my Instagram is at kevin.img. You can just follow me for some decent, decent fit pics. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.